Today we're on site with Pink Truck and Red Truck. Um, we're gonna, we've got 36 panels to install and we've got a Tesla Powerwall to install as well. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump up on the roof with Will. Um, we're gonna show him how to do a cable run, what it, what, how neat and what he needs to do. And then we're gonna go to the Tesla with uh, Dylan. With Dylan, we're gonna look at the battery backup and everything we need to do there. And then we're gonna go with Gabe on the roof. Um, he's gonna show us rail, feet, um, and what it looks like to do so a tile install on a, on a roof like this. Let's do it. Got your switchboard here, yeah. um, and then we're doing battery, which is in the garage over here. Um, and then we've got our roof faces. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run these cables together to a big J box that will connect this and this space together. Yeah, um, it's a little bit easier to do a big J box in the middle and neater and less roof penetrations yes. than going in and out on so many different faces. Bring all the cables, we'll come back together here and then head down to the switchboard just here. Um, and then we'll run a battery cable from here up and over through the roof and then back down here for the battery which is in the garage. How are we able to configure backup on the site? So, as a te installing a Tesla battery, Tesla battery is only a single phase backup. So, any three phase sort of appliance like your aircon, we've got a three phase aircon here. So, that's 100% not, not going to be able to back up. And then on any house, we don't really want any heating elements backed up because we'll just drain the battery straight away. Um, so, we pretty much reconfigure the main board to come from the street straight out of the street instead of going straight to the circuits feeding the circuits they come through our tesla gateway just works as a big um changeover switch um contactor type thing to when it detects that there's no power coming from the grid it flicks um to the backup mode and then the power will um come from the the battery um so pretty much wire it as a three-phase house so you've got three phase coming in uh neutral coming in three phase coming out back to the back to the board and then you have a single phase feed, which is straight from the battery to come to the backed up circuits. So in this house, pretty generic, very, very good house for us. So there's only two powers and a light circuit. So that's the, the three circuits will back up there. Um, leave the oven off, leave the, the swim spar off and the air con um, essentially. And then, but we've got to run three back as a non backup feed for the circuits that are three phase, just so they do get power when there is power from the grid as well. We also run our, our solar from the gateway as well to get the CTs for the Tesla app. So once they get their app or hand it over to them, they'll be able to see the production on both N phase and Tesla apps as well. On the app, when, when we chuck on these CTs, we have to configure them to let the, the brains of the Tesla actually know what it's what it's reading. Yeah. So when we configure it as solar, it comes up as not seeing it as a as a load. So it doesn't think that it's actually um, taking power from the, the grid itself. It's actually producing power back to the grid. So it's able to read uh, what's going into the battery to charge it and what from the solar is being used in the house as well. So the squish board's right in that corner. Yep. Um, and then we're going to go in the eaves all the way down to that corner there where the battery actually is. Um, and then um, Will is running the solar feed. So the solar board is a little bit further along to the house. So it's not in the corner as much. He's running it from there, going up to the, the isolator, which is the first point. And then he'll run more cables from there to the other faces once that's in. But he's doing the isolator cable first. Um, you don't need to tie it, but see how that insulation's sticking up? Yeah, see how that's sticking up? Yeah. You want to put the cable on the other side of that so it's in the eave? I don't think he's cut. You haven't cut this one yet, have you? No. Yeah, good. All right, feed that more. We want to go, when we're doing it, we all, you want to go up and over so people can still walk through here. So, like, if we did it straight like that now, it'd be in the way. Yeah. So we want to pull it long enough so it'll go up and over. It's going to be kind of hard to tie because it's quite up, but we might be to climb up there. So hold that. Yeah, give us some more, Gabe. And then pull that tight for me and do the same what I'm doing, like hold it up high so we can see it's actually going to reach. Yeah, that should be all right. I reckon. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Hey, Gabe. Yeah, yeah, cut that. And then can you poke it down the next one? Two cable ties together. And then you 
just throw it up and over. I'm gonna wait for you to do yours and then I can make sure I got mine up as well. They're not gonna get in the way or move anymore, otherwise it'll ruin the sicker. Uh, it's sealed for the waterproofing. So is the sicker being done? Yeah, it has. It was pretty fun. So power come from the grid. It'll come into your fuses, it'll come out of your fuses to your meter, and out of your fuses, out of your meter to the main switch. And then before we do anything, that's the main switch will be the thing that's powering your house. So when we come in, we run 16 mils to our gateway. So it pretty much jumps in that gap from main switch to the circuits. So where we rewire it, we rewire it. So pretty much it'll come from the street to your fuses, out of your fuses to your meter, out of your meter to the top of the main switch. But then now out of that main switch will come into our Tesla gateway. And then out of the Tesla gateway come back into the non-backup breaker. And then we'll, have, we'll be adding in a new backup breaker to feed those backup circuits. So when it's in normal operating mode, there is power from the grid. It'll work all as normal. It will just be when that changeover switch happens, when, the, when we lose grid power, only the circuits that will be fed off that backup breaker will be able to work. That's it, bro. Yeah. Well done. Nah, no. <laughs> it's my first time talking on camera.